Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. We lost one of our tenants at Boring Lane, so in this episode we will have to have an open house to get a new person in there. So let's dive in! Here we are at Boring Lane, let's have an open house. We're going to rent the smaller room, and I'm going to do newspaper for 350 and I'm going to start the event. Let's check on Ronan Sparks, do a background check on Ronan. Ronan's thinking, he thinks the place is fine. Ronan Sparks has debt, no criminal history. Wayne Willis, let's wait till he finishes thinking. I'm going to do a tenancy check on Ronan, even though he only play, thinks the place is fine. Okay, what does he think? He's thinking, oh, he likes the kitchen. Ronan Sparks has no tenancy history, so I'm going to ask Ronan to leave. Let's look at Wayne Willis. Let's check out Wayne's background. Hey, Wayne likes the kitchen. Wayne's criminal record. He has debt, but no criminal history. Esther Stafford. Let's do a background check on her. Tenancy check on Wayne. Esther Stafford has no debt. Wayne Willis has a fine tenancy history. Esther. Esther's not really liking the place. Let's check out this lady. Penelope Garner. He likes the toaster. Oh, he loves the toaster. Penelope Garner. Penelope Garner has a criminal record. Fraud, kidnapping, and rape. So she can leave. Can we do a tenancy check? Let's do a tenancy check on her. Esther Stafford. She's got three tenancies. And she's got a... I, I don't want to offer it to her until she has a better view of the apartment. Okay, Liam's got no debt. Okay, I want to watch this guy, Wayne. See if he still likes... Oh, he loves it. Ooh, he thinks it's exceptional. I'm going to negotiate with Wayne Willis for 60 days. He's in love with this room. He loves this room. Look at that. Let's try to get 5000 out of him. Make an offer. Um, 5200 and something. 3784 is what he says. 5100 4072 Hmm. That's, that's pretty good, though. <laughs> $4,813 profit. $4,990. $4,168. Go down a little bit more. $4,870, dude. $4,216. Yeah, I'll accept that. I'm going to be making $4,583 profit. We successfully got our tenant back, and we unlocked some new items. We got to negotiate with Prospect Street. Wayne Willis, I have a favor to ask. I'm a bit short of cash this week. Could I pay half of the usual rent? Sure. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We are now up to $9,319 out of our $12,000 for monthly cash flow. We have to go renegotiate at Prospect Street, so let's go on over there. Renegotiate a lease extension with Keaton. Keaton is neutral to us, so let's Let's renegotiate for 60 days with Keaton. The selected rent price is 2970 I'm going to try to bump it up a bit. We'll try it at 3480 I'm going to make an offer to him of 3480 And he says 1849 No, dude. I understand you've been having problems with paying your rent on time, but I'm going to do $3,400. Make an offer. 2519 Let's go down a little bit more, see if he comes up a bit more. 3,350, make an offer. 2,742, 3,300, make an offer. 2,853 is his offer, I'll accept it. That was a bad mistake. I lost money. I lost $2,000 on him. I am not happy. I was doing good too. We move on to the next person, because I'm sure that this lady over here is going to have to renegotiate. Let's get a job, because we did lose about $1,000 with the open house, with all those background checks. Let, we're going to take this Passaic Street 19B, full apartment renovation, commission, required total makeover, required furniture and walls. Yeah, let's accept that one. Head on over there. I'm really bummed. But what are you going to do? You move on, yeah, and you begin cleaning. Clean that spot and restore that, Uncle Steve, and restore that. Yeah, we can put this in the player storage, because I can always sell it when I don't want to use it. And the couch goes into player storage, and see you later, Uncle Steve. All right, let's renovate this place. So they want a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. I don't see any preferred items. They want us to focus on the walls, required furnishing, and they don't mind preferred furnishing, because it doesn't look like they have preferred furnishing. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'm going to cut the room in half, build it like this. Bing, bang, boom. I'm a 
bathroom. I'm gonna put a door here. I'm gonna put a door here. I know it's strange, but that's what we're gonna do. We are going to put a door. I'm just gonna put like a curtain door. I'm gonna put a real door on the bedroom. Put a real door here. And I'm going to move this over here because it won't take up any space. That's not gonna work. So I'm gonna put the door right here. I'm going to put a little curtain type door here. This type. We are going to start with the bathroom. So they want a tile in the bathroom. So the tiles they give us. They gave us a lower budget on this, so I'm going with the gray tiles. Uh, they want us to focus on the wall, so they want us to do a gray wall. We can do this busy gray wall. Furnishings, they want a shower cabin. I'm going to put this red shower cabin in, just to give it a pop of color. I think we could do a red and gray theme in here. We'll just do our lovely pigeon toilet we always do. I'm going to put the pigeon toilet over here. And I'm going to put the sink right next to it. I'm just going to give them a cheapo sink there. They want us to do a toilet brush. $45 toilet brush. They haven't been liking this $35 modest toilet roll. There, so I'm going to do this $45 one there. And we're done the bathroom. Now we're going to do the bedroom. The bedroom requires gray or blue walls, linoleum or hardwood. Let's do our floors. We do oak panel floors in here. Hey, I'm going to go with a $55 wall. Wall decor. Do they have any special wall decor? They want an Uzi. So we'll just put the Uzi right here. Happy wall decor. We'll do a corner bed. It's just going to have to go here in the corner near the Uzi. So the bedroom is done with the basic basics. Let's go into the kitchen. Kitchen, we want a laminate floor and a blue wall. Laminate floor. We'll do this one. I know we do this one a lot. Blue wall. Let's do the $45 wall in here. We'll have to do the $799 fridge. Oh, thank you, Lauren Wallace, for sending me the money. You're going to get a $749 cooker. Let me move this radiator over here. And I'll put the refrigerator right here. Put the cooker right here. Maybe I'll put the fuse box there. I know they didn't ask for a sink. We want a kitchen sink in the kitchen. Let me look in my player storage. See what I got. Just sell that. Thank you, Liberty Owen, for sending me money. I didn't know you owed me. I need a cheapo counter. Just give them this cheapo cabinet. Like their cheapo apartment. I'm gonna put that couch like this. Give them some sort of TV in here. They didn't ask for anything like that in here. But I'm gonna give them some sort of TV. It's $999 television they didn't ask for. I could give them a better cooker. They wanted the thousand dollar cooker. The bank collected money. They have absolutely no decor. I, I really want to give them some sort of dining room tables table. That's an awfully big table. My heat is stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze here. Could you do something about it? Yeah, I'll send in a pro. I will give them this $99 chair. This $99 chair. Uh, they should probably have some sort of light in here because there is zero light in here. I'll put this light in over the counter. Yeah, work hard, play hard over that. Thank you, Jemima. We have $141 left. 80% decor in the living room area. I'm not seeing them as plant people, so I don't know what to put in here. I didn't even know I was losing you. Oh, that's right. I wanted to I wanted to renegotiate. I didn't do it. I'll put this big-ass plant here. 89%. I'm delivering the job. Okay, he's looking at the big-ass plant, and he says... What what were you even thinking with this plant? I like Uzis. Why were you? Oh, I love this. I love this range. But what were you thinking about that plant? Okay, he's going in the tiny little bathroom and he's looking at the toilet roll holder and he's saying, "I love this toilet roll holder. Overall decor of this horrible place that I had to use my own items." He loves. Yeah, I hope we did well. We had sixty thousand and. We're only up to 58. So it's really sad when you do a job and you lose money. Okay, so our review was... It's like Smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world. Astonishing. Amazing agent. Excellent work needs to be rewarded. We got a $580 bonus. So it was a $3,480 payment. I think it was a 2,000-something job. Quiet furnishing was four. Selected pieces of furniture weren't too fashionable. Preferred furnishings, there was none. Floors, no issues. Walls, no issues. Thank you, Keaton. Core, no issues. First impression, no issues. We lost another tenant. Our liquidity is down. We had 9,000 there for a while, like briefly, really briefly, till I renegotiated with Keaton. Why does this apartment not meet the requirements? We have a vacancy here, but it won't let us have an open house. Why is that? Okay, Wayne, you gotta you gotta pay your payments because I'm not getting any money from you people. At this point, I'm just gonna kick them all out because this isn't working. I should be able to have an open house. Maybe if I go away. Okay, see, that makes sense. No free bedrooms. This one, 
I have a vacancy. I'm gonna kick you out. Get out. I'm breaking the agreement. I don't care. Get out. Yeah, I'm glad it was a nightmare. Don't understand why. Oh, because of the bed? What the hell happened here? Oh, so moving the bed allows me having an open house. I'm beginning an open house, renting all the rooms. It's because that bed was in a bad place. I couldn't even do anything. Gregory has no criminal record, but he has debt. Zara Rowland is thinking. She loves this room. Zara has no criminal record. Check her tenancy history. Let's check Gregory's tenancy history. Oh, he finds it unsatisfying? You know what? I'm not wasting my money. If you feel that way, get out. She likes this tiny little room. Zara Rowland unsatisfying. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zara. You need to leave. I'm not dealing with you and your unsatisfying tenancy. Isabel Willis. Oh, she's a, she's got fraud. Get out. I'm gonna have a problem renting to this, renting people in this apartment. Kiara Carlson. No criminal history, she's thinking. So let's do a background check on this alcoholic butcher named Julia Erickson. Julia Erickson has no criminal history. Something's going on. Yeah, I'll send in a pro. She's not even giving me the option to send in Uncle Steve anymore. She loves this place. She's loving this. Let's wait for a review. Julia Erickson has no tenancy history, but she thinks it's good. Oh, he loves this room. Let's do a background check on him. She's unsatisfying. She can leave. Julia, you know, you have no tenancy history. Okay, she's just thinking it's fine. Okay, Tommy Erickson has no debt. Let's do this tenancy check here and Unsatisfying. Aaron Wallace, you can leave. Wow, I'm gonna have like no luck with these people. You, I might negotiate with just because I need to get somebody in here at this point. Let me negotiate with you. She's not like in this room. You know what? You have no tenancy history, and that's the bigger room. That's a smaller room. That's a smaller room. Let's try 4,050. Make her an offer. Chloe Woods, 2,000. That's more money than I was getting from the other dude. 4,330. 4,330. Almost there, but not quite yet. 3,299. 4,190. I'm going to make that offer. 3,400. Surely we can agree on a fairer price than this, she says. How about 4,120? Make that offer. 3,451. I'll accept that offer. So she's paying more than that other guy for that little room. She's thinking it's fine. Thus type uh, He thinks it's fine. I think I'll do a tenancy check on her. Chloe Woods has no criminal record. Okay, Gus. Gus's criminal record. He just has debt. Chloe has excellent. Let's negotiate with her. She likes this room. 3,210. 1,700. First deal ever. Three thousand dollars. No way I'm gonna pay this much. Two thousand nine hundred and twenty. Worst deal ever. Two thousand forty-eight. Two thousand seven hundred and forty. Two thousand seventy-nine. Yeah, sure, I'll accept that current offer. How did our monthly cash flow go that low? Were we making more money before? Oh, it's seven thousand now. Oh, it's a little bit more than it was. It was five thousand for the last thing. We got our tenants back in. Kiara Carson. Good day, Smitty. I hope this message finds you well. Thank you once again for the opportunity. I just moved in and it's look all looking great. Have a blessed day. Well, she didn't have an apartment before. This is her first apartment. Chloe Woods. Dear Smitty, I'm awfully glad we've been connected by our housing agreement. From now on, you'll be able to contact me at this number. Sincerely, Chloe Woods. We now have tenants in all of our apartments. These people are not paying their rent. Wayne, I had a problem with you not paying your rent before. You wanted to half your rent. Our monthly cash flow is now up. It's not quite the 9,000 we had briefly, but it is 7,966 out of the $12,000 we need to play for higher stakes. Wayne Willis, I noticed you haven't paid your, your rent this week. Sent him that. Jemima Wu, I'm so sorry. I'll get to it right away. Yeah, he'll send us the money right away. And we're down our personal cash this episode. We had 61,000 last episode. We now owe the bank $67,219. I'm hoping that next episode we might be able to pay off this bank loan if none of our tenants decide to leave. I think I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.